Hi, this is Imran. So this video is especially for uh, mechanical engineering students. So many of the students uh, will have a question that which domain uh, should I select whether I, I will go for design, whether uh, I will go for production, whether I will go for robotics or something like that. We have different domains. So if I can say that uh, choose design, it doesn't make sense. Okay. So everything depends on your interest. So not what I say. Okay. So everything is depends on your interest, depends on your area of interest. You need to choose your interested domain. So today in this session, I'm going to give some of the important tips which will helpful for you to choose your area of interest and in that particular area of interest, how you have to plan your career. Okay. So many of the students, what they will do, you know, uh, during their academics, they used to study their academic subject only for the sake of uh, scoring good marks, right? Okay, that doesn't make sense. So many of the students will um, study their engineering subject only for the sake of completion of their graduation. So once you complete your uh, graduation, it doesn't make sense that uh, definitely will get a job. So job is not depends on your graduation degree certificate. It depends on your skills what skills you have so i am not telling you that you should uh, do some of you should take some of the external technical uh, skills so here in this video i am going to give you some of the tips how you need to uh, select the particular domain okay so first of all uh, one thing i will i would like to say say that uh, you should have some strong knowledge in the theoretical concepts so you should have strong knowledge in that you should have to understand the strong theoretical concepts so once you understand the theoretical concepts definitely you you will get an idea how those theoretical concepts we are going to apply in the practical application or industrial applications so first thing you should have strong knowledge of theoretical concepts so next is most important that is area of interest so everything depends on you. So in uh, which area should I select that you need to decide. Okay, it is not like that uh, your professor said that you, you should opt design. Your friend said that or your senior says that uh, you should opt production. So lot of confusion confusions will arise uh, in your uh, student life, right? Okay, so in this video, I'm going to clear everything about uh, your confusions. So first of all, um, I would like to say that how you should select your area of interest. You should know what are all the domains you have in your mechanical engineering industries, right? So that thing is very important that you should know which are the areas you have in the mechanical engineering domain, right? So as I told you, you have to understand the theoretical concepts. So you should have a strong understanding of all the theoretical subjects. But in engineering, usually you will study of 48 subjects in four years right but it is very difficult to have strong understanding uh, knowledge in all the 48 subjects right so i will give some of the tips how you need to focus on your career so based on your interest you need to select which domain you need to enter so based on your domain you need to have a strong theoretical concepts in the 48 subjects so I will uh, put you out uh, some of the subjects which are which are very most important that two related to particular domain. So in that first we have uh, CAD engineer or design engineer. So if you if you are really interested into uh, if you are really interested uh, to enter into a design engineering domain, you should have uh, uh, strong knowledge about engineering graphics that you have the subject. So then engineering, drawing, DFM, that is design for manufacturing. Next we have GDNT, that is geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. Okay. So these are all the, the subjects you should have a strong knowledge uh, if you want to enter into design engineer. So it will be helpful for you to uh, crack an interview for the particular domain. Okay. Next we have uh, FEA or structural engineering. This is also one of the major domain in mechanical engineering industry. It will be helpful for you to develop a new product. So if you want to enter into this particular domain, you should have strong uh, 
understanding theoretical concepts uh, subjects like uh, mechanics of materials design of machine elements finite element analysis or finite element method mechanical vibrations tribology tool design fracture mechanics so these are all the important subjects you should know if you are really interested into a fea or structural engineering domain so if you have strong uh, understanding of theoretical concepts into this particular domains so it will it will be helpful for you or uh, to attend an any interview to answer and any question all right so next we have uh, one of the major domain that is cfd engineering domain if you are really interested to enter into, uh, into, into this domain uh, you should have strong knowledge in turbo machines thermodynamics fluid mechanics heat and mass transfer uh, energy engineering power plant en engineering so these are all the major subject uh, you have to focus uh, as a if you want to enter into cfd engineering domain so next we have one of the major domain that is robotics and automation see every industries is depends on robotics and automation so because uh, all the industries depends on automation process so if you are really interested to enter into robotics and automation you should have knowledge of kinematics of machines uh, mechatronics and microprocessor robotics and automation control engineering and computer programming see computer programming uh, language is very most important if you really uh, in uh, enter into a uh, robotics and automation domain so next we have production and quality so this is one of the major domain where we are going to manufacture the product so in this domain we are going to bring the product to the customer so if you are really interested to enter into this domain you should have strong knowledge uh, in manufacturing process machining process production technology uh, things then operation management then total quality management measurement and metrology and uh, project management so these are all the major subjects you have to concentrate if you are uh, interested to enter into a particular domain so so whatever i have explained you this is uh, very um, important uh, tips that you should follow see i will tell you one thing so many of the students uh, will think uh, about their career when they enter into a final year so don't uh, do these types of mistakes so once you enter into a uh, mechanical engineering domain or any engineering uh, stream so you should uh, decide in which domain you need to enter so this is very most important point so keep in mind that you need to decide uh, your uh, area of interest based on your area of interest you should decide your domain so based on your domain you have to uh, focus and you should gain strong knowledge uh, in the particular subject whatever i have explained i am not uh, telling you that uh, you should not concentrate on rest of other subject uh, apart from uh, respect to domain subjects you should have to focus uh, on those subjects also to get your uh, graduation certificate so if you are uh, really like this video please subscribe my channel and watch my videos please share this videos thank you